Another type of operators are called logical operators. So these allow us to combine conditional statements or arguments. So what we've seen in the past is things like equal to. So I could say print um, name equal to Roger. And we know that would print true based on these variables up here. However, we can have more complicated or multiple conditions or arguments by using logical operators. So these are simply and and or. So I could have name equals Roger and age equals 44. Now when I run that, that's false because when you do an and logical operator, that means both sides of these have to be true for the output to be true because that has to be true and that has to be true. So even though Roger is true, the age is 100, not 44. So the output of the combined thing would be false. If I change that to an or, this suddenly would then become true because with an or, only one side has to be correct, which this one is for the output to be true. So anybody that's done logic gates, you can see the connection. So you can also have, to show you this, so Bob, neither of them are true, so the OR gate is not true. Now, AND and OR logic gates are two of the simplest gates. If you've ever done logic gates, you'll understand what I'm talking about. The other gate you might be thinking of is a NOT gate. Now you can do NOT as well. So if I encapsulate that whole thing in and write not before it, that's the equivalent of a not gate. So for those of you that are not aware, a not gate will inverse the result. So for example, if this were true, because I've put not there, it will become false. So we know that if name equals Roger, which it isn't, so that's false, or age equals 44, well that isn't, for an or gate, only one of these sides would have had to have been correct for it to output true, but neither of them are. So we're happy that both of these would output false, but because I've put a not there, when I run it, the output's true. So we can replicate those three main logic gates very easily. Now, for those of you that are getting a bit lost, I was showing all three because I felt like I had to when I'm teaching this topic, but the ones you will use by far the most is ands and ors. And the only reason being, I'm about to teach you if statements soon, and this is where we start making arguments. And by using the logical operators of and and or, you can make your arguments longer to save needing to do more code. And it genuinely will become really useful.